Take a look at tick count trend today. It already has two short trades on rally. Shorted, hit a profit target, shorted, hit a profit target. Very early on, you see the reds leading the way on the tick count trend indicator. And that hasn't happened in the, uh, the last five days. You can see here, um, the, t the way this tick count trend indicator works is that the gray signifies a neutral trend is leading the way. Red signifies a bearish trend is leading the way. And blue signifies a, a bullish trend is leading the way. So bearish or so new gray is neutral red is bearish and blue is bullish uh, bearish meaning going down and bullish meaning going up and so what you see here um, early uh, four days ago we have uh, the reds leading the way but then the neutrals prevailed the rest of the day so you can see it ended up being a very flat day no trades um, and then three days ago the grays are leading the way which is a neutral day pretty neutral market not a lot of movement uh, two days ago, gray's leading the way again, neutral market. So not a lot of trades lately. It's been very neutral markets a lot this year, really. Uh, and gray there, no, not many trades. And today, sharp selling. And we've got the reds and the, the strategy capturing this trade because uh, a very definitive uh, bearish day on this market. So this indicator has done a good job of determining the uh, days in which the market is uh, going down or up or flat. Uh, one of the things this strategy does is it, it takes trend trades in the direction of the trend. So if red's leading the way, it's going to take shorts. If blue's leading the way, it's going to take longs. Um, one of the things it doesn't do is it doesn't take counter trend trades in neutral markets. And so that's something that could be done uh, either on a systematic basis that hasn't been developed or discretionary. If grays are leading the way, for example, uh, like you see here two days ago, uh, you can maybe take counter trend trades. I don't have a criteria necessarily for that. It's easy to look back and, and take these points. Uh, but such a narrow range day, it's hard. To, it, it gapped up. It didn't even close the gap here. It gapped up. didn't even fill the gap. And so I don't know what basis you'll take those counter trend trades. But that's something that you could potentially do based on a difference from the open um, or support and resistance on a very narrow range type of a day. So that's the tick count trend. It's in the nine system portfolio. And so these trades are, are taking place in the nine system portfolio. And that is how you use this indicator, the tick count trend indicator.